you or your loved one is impacted by diabetes and have questions, the Barbados Diabetes Foundation has the answers. It's always easier to reverse diabetes, certainly control it properly and avoid complications if you at least know that you have it. But it's just again to re-emphasize the importance of good diabetic care. And diabetic care is, it involves really almost every part of the body. So it's your feet, your heart. But again, we're coming back to what our main focus is at this time is the eye care. The Maria Holder Diabetes Center, located in Warren St. Michael, is your source of diabetic care. You can reach them by calling 243-EYES-243-3937 for more information. It's 9 o'clock, and I shall have to tell you what happens every Saturday at 9. You should know by now that it's time for 15 of the healthiest 10th anniversary minutes you will hear on your radio. These minutes are healthy, and it's feeling better just listening to them. That's true, and it's all with the compliments of... You should know who it's of compliments of by now. But I can tell you, all of the compliments of the Barbados Diabetic Ice Screening Program, the Maria Holder Diabetes Center, and the Barbados Community Foundation. This is Peter Boyce here. Welcome to these 15 minutes that are especially designed for diabetics and pre-diabetics where I tell you all about the Maria Holder Diabetes Center. I met a person this week while I was out shopping who was telling me how this show, even if you don't have diabetes, how you still get good health information. So there got some people out there that might be saying, I am impacted by diabetes, so I don't have to listen. Well, you should still listen because you will still learn something. For example, you know yesterday was World Hypertension Day? You didn't know that? Yes. In fact, you realize how much health remembrances they had only in May? They had World Hypertension Day, Mental Health Month, Nurse Week. Bare things happened in May then. In fact, so much things happen that I can't call all. So I will have to call in Dr. Diane Braffick to give you a full rundown and some health information. Once again, good morning. Good morning, Dr. Braffick. I hope you had a wonderful week, um, whatever the challenges were, because the challenges will always come. You don't get the ups without the downs. But I hope you were able to ride that tide successfully. May is a month full of events and remembrances, and we want to acknowledge these. First of all, this week, we want to recognize Nurse Week. We want to just give thanks to all the glorious nurses in Barbados and the amazing work they do, and we respect them for their compassion and empathy in what can sometimes be a challenging job. We, of course, want to thank the nurses at the Maria Holder Diabetes Center for the Caribbean, who not only do an excellent job, but they're actually just very kind people and easy to work with. So I want to extend my thanks to them from me, the rest of the staff, and of course, the management of our organization. And that would be Nurse Bushell, Nurse White, Nurse Bissoon, Nurse Griffith, Nurse Smith, and our part-time nurses who assist us from time to time, Nurse Prescott, and of course, Nurse Calendar. Thank you very much for all you do. And thank you for your specialties that you bring to the Diabetes Center in terms of diabetes specialist nurse services and wound care services as well. Moving on, Friday, May the 17th, World Hypertension Day, and the theme again is measure your blood pressure accurately, control it, and live longer. Make sure that you're measuring your blood pressure with what we call a validated blood pressure machine, meaning one that's going to give you accurate readings. If you're unsure of which brands are validated, please discuss it with your healthcare provider before you purchase. And as would have been mentioned in a previous post we did on hypertension, ideally you want a blood pressure machine that has an arm cuff versus necessarily a wrist cuff. Arm cuffs have actually been shown to be a little bit more accurate than wrist cuffs. If you or a family member is living with hypertension, it is ideal that you have a blood pressure machine in the house and you're also doing home blood pressure readings. And those readings can then be shared with your doctor. Please refer to our previous post, which is up on YouTube in relationship to hypertension and measuring the blood pressure. In another post, we'll discuss more about how to actually measure it properly. But remember, the end part of that thing, control it and live longer. Hypertension is a major cause of problems for persons living with and without diabetes. And we want to make sure that people control their blood pressure. May is also Mental Health Awareness Month. The actual week is May 
13th to 19th and the theme is movement moving more for our mental health that's actually a really wonderful theme exercise has that capacity to elevate your mood and it allows you to do it with people and i think when you're quite stressed out sometimes it's a good stress buster it helps to get those endorphins going it really can just make a big difference and remember movement can look like different things it can be a good swim it can be a run it can be a walk it can be being out there in the garden and in nature with the environment which in itself is very healing there therapeutic yoga pilates dancing roller skating which is a big thing in Barbados now I want to learn to roller skate so move more for our mental health and last of all child health month is also in may children reflect our greatest hope as a nation and every chance deserves the chance to thrive and we the adults in barbados need to be the safeguards for those kids so that they can thrive we want them to thrive in their health by choosing more movement and recommending more exercise for them on a regular daily basis less hand and video games and more movement get out there with those children get them move them keep them moving encourage them to be involved in groups which have physical activities and of course how they eat consider how we feed our children are we feeding them properly are we reducing the sugar sweetened beverages are we using more water are we not hopefully overfeeding them are we giving them healthy snacks all of these things matter but also make sure you safeguard the children's well-being both socially financially and mentally allow your children to talk to you and develop relationships that facilitate conversation and exchange with them so i want to wish you a happy weekend and of course we'll be back with you next weekend happy weekend back to you dr diane braffitt from the maria holder diabetes center if you at home listening to vob would like to make an appointment to see dr braffitt the number to make an appointment are for general inquiries get something and write it down that number is four one seven zero three zero five but if you like to get your ice cream for diabetic retinopathy, which you know you must do every year, that number is 2433937. Remember, one of the services you can find at the Maria Holder Diabetes Center is podiatry because you know you have to take care of your feet when you are diabetic. Right now, you're going to get some foot tips from a podiatry intern compliments the Maria Holler Diabetes Center. Hi Peter, this is Imba from the University of Brighton. I'm an intern here at the Diabetic Center and I'm a podiatry student. Here are the tips for the weekend regarding your foot. Going to the beach, watch your feet or get someone to watch them for you. Check in between your toes, check your planter which is underneath your feet. Make sure there are no cuts no bruises, no abrasions, keep your toenails short, keep your feet dry, keep that skin moisturized, make it glow. If you need help, seek a podiatrist, come by at the center and get your foot checked regularly. If you're diabetic, you're also welcome to the clinic. Have a good weekend. One more thing, going to the beach, wear some beach shoes, check your feet, check your feet, check your feet. If you don't want your feet to fail you, that's why you need to go to the Maria Holder Diabetes Center. This is Rupee with our feet song for today. Feet don't fail me now. Compliments, the Maria Holder Diabetes Center. Check your feet, check your feet. Your 
your feet will not fail you when you have taken those feet to the Maria Holder Diabetes Center located in Warren St. Michael. And in case you need to be reminded of the services which are available, let me get Dr. Diane before she left to give us a rundown of those services. Don't forget our screening services that we offer at the center. Those will be pre-diabetes and diabetes screening, which also includes weight checks and blood pressure checks as well as part of the screening. Of course, you can just have your diabetes check to see where it is with the A1C if your doctor requires it for you. Kidney screening, foot screening, of course, that vascular screening, looking at the arteries to make sure there's no narrowing in the artery circulation of the legs. And last but not least, of course, diabetes eye screening to make sure that there are no signs of diabetic retinopathy, which as we know is a major and in fact number one cause of adult blindness. We now welcome a patient of the Maria Hola Diabetes Center, Mr. Paul Edwards. Sir. How long have you had diabetes and what challenges have you encountered with the condition? I had diabetes since 2009 and it wasn't when I was working permanently in Barbados. It was when I was working in Grand Prix motor racing where my driver saw me a little bit woozy when I got off of the plane and he was a diabetic himself and he tested me and I was 22 Whoa. blood counts. So I was well over. So from, from that moment onwards, I knew I had a problem. I'd been a patient of Maria Holder Diabetic Center for probably about six, seven years now since I've lived permanently in Barbados. And I worked as a chef and in several restaurants in Barbados. But uh, to be fair, I've uh, known Miss Brathwaite, uh, Diane, who's I've been under her care uh, for this period. And um, I must tell you that she's been extremely helpful to me and probably saved my toes at least three or four times in the last few years. From my point of view, I've referred and, and Diane has met many of my probably you know, two or three colleagues that have diabetes and they've also become firm patients of the Maria Holder Center. In terms of you personally, how did diabetes impact your lifestyle? Tremendously, tremendously. When I first discovered in 2009, you know, when I told you that, you know, the first situation for me was having a reading of 22, I was referred to a doctor in Melbourne in Australia, and when I came back to Barbados, which is my place of residence, I immediately contacted Dr. Brown, who referred me to the diabetic center, to Diane, obviously just straight away. It impacted me in the way of, um, I was suffering with my feet terribly, high blood pressure always, not listening to Diane Brathwaite always because she calls me her bad boy because she just wonders how I survive. <laughs> um, but to, to cut a long story short, I, I couldn't have done without them. You actually know, we all we all went through tough times during COVID, but even when, you know, the, the going was tough, Diane helped us with some, you know, medicines and, and made sure that we all got, you know, what we needed to keep going and, you know, to, to control our diabetes. This facility is top notch. But the long and short of it is, you know, Barbados for many, many years has been known and sadly, I'm, I'm sure that this uh, reputation is, is getting a lot better. It's always been known as the amputation capital of the world, which is really sad. But with the with the help of, you know, everybody that works at the diabetic center, I think we've kind of moved a little bit forward from that now because uh, you can get help. Uh, and uh, I would advise anybody in Barbados who is looking, who is just thinks they may be a new diabetic to, to go to the diabetic center. I, I have nothing but high praise for it. For over 10 years, the Maria Holder Diabetes Center has been effectively serving the diabetic and pre-diabetic community of Barbados with a range of international standard health services, which include diabetic eye screening, vascular screening, nutritional advice, and consultations with diabetes specialists. So if you are listening to VOB right now and you have a diabetic-related query or you need to make an appointment, you can call 2 Four three three nine three seven. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. The last 15 minutes you heard on VOB was brought to you with the compliments of the Barbados Diabetic Eye Screening Program in partnership with the Barbados Community Foundation and the Maria Holder Diabetes Center celebrating its 10th anniversary. Until next time, drink more water. Did you know nearly one in five adults in Barbados have diabetes? Did you know diabetes is one of the leading causes of vision loss in the world? Regular eye screening can save your eyes.